Running water was finally restored in Fort Myers Beach, Florida this week for the first time since Hurricane Ian made landfall in the state. Meanwhile, relief efforts continue across southwest Florida. One nonprofit trucking company set out to bring trailer after trailer of relief and comfort to those in need in Fort Myers. Trucks with room to spare. That's what it's called. Trucks with room to spare. They deliver donated supplies, including pet food, laundry detergent, toys, and a handful of other essentials. And we are joined now by the group's president, Shelly Conaway Wa, a 30 year trucking veteran from Lexington, Kentucky. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Uh, and this is not a new thing. You've been doing this for a while. How did you get this started? Uh, we started after Hurricane Michael. Uh, we seen there was a need and truck drivers was looking for a way to get back. And this is how we can do it uh, with what we do every day. Now, I understand that you also helped after some of the flash flooding that happened in Kentucky. And as you mentioned, Hurricane Michael, that was a f her category five storm that hit the panhandle of Florida back in 2018. Um, how did Hurricane Ian compare to what you saw in some of those other hard hit areas? Well, I mean, every storm is different. It just depends on whether it's more of a water or a wind event. Uh, I will say this much, the response to uh, Hurricane Ian has been monumental. Uh, the people that are that are coming out to help uh, is just it's amazing. The supplies are there. Uh, but, you know, disaster relief and response isn't a sprint race. It's a marathon and truck drivers try to be there for the long term. If anybody understands a marathon, it's a long haul truck driver. And God bless you. You're coming to us live from a truck today. I love it. Where are you getting <laughs> these supplies? Well, we work with uh, sponsors and corporate sponsors and local groups that do supply drives. Uh, they reach out to us. These are all donated supplies. And we all know with the cost of diesel and everything, uh, a lot of people can't afford freight rates on donated supplies. So we work with volunteer drivers to get the things where they're needed. Who covers the gas, though? Diesel is really expensive these days. Yes, it is. And we have great fuel partners that work with us. Uh, Mudflap Incorporated has donated thousands of dollars to help us uh, to pay for fuel for the trucks. Uh, we're always looking for more. Um, a truck, you know, we average about five miles to the gallon. And with fuel being over $5 a gallon in most areas now, that doesn't get us far. Well, that's Shelly Conaway Wash. She's a long haul truck driver with 30 years of experience. Uh, I am glad that people are helping you so that you can help people. Thank you for everything that you do. Thank you. Mm. All She's right. incredible. That was a wonderful thing to do for all those folks that need help down there in they Southwest. They struggle Florida. for years to come. They need the help. Trucks with room to spare. All right, we've got much more ahead here on Morning in America. Stick around. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.